In this video, you will learn how to examine a file's history and dependencies, utilize design reservations, save a file as a version and as a milestone, promote a previous version, and rename a file. I'll start by introducing these topics. To view a file's history and dependencies, open the data panel, click on the V number for the file that you want to examine, and more data will be displayed. Click on History to see the file's version of the file. A version is created each time a file is saved. The Uses option displays files that are referenced into this file. Used in shows assemblies that reference this file. And Drawings display drawings that are based on this file. Design reservations show you who is working or editing a file. This prevents design conflicts. Initials and a white dot will be displayed in the data panel. Browser, and if multiple people have the file open, will be displayed at the top of the canvas. When a person has a file open, their initial will appear. When a file has a pending save, a white dot appears to the lower right corner of the initial. A reserved file cannot be edited by others. After saving the file, any assemblies that reference this file or others who have the file open, a yellow triangle will appear. This lets everyone know that there is a new version of this file. Now I'll discuss versions and milestones. The first time that you save a file, you're going to give the file a name. On subsequent saves, enter a version description. Enter a description that states what was changed. The description appears next to the version number in the data panel. When saving a file, you also have the option to create a milestone. When a file is saved as a milestone and this file is inserted into another assembly, only versions that are set to milestone will be updated in the referenced assemblies. Another way to look at milestones, milestones prevent assemblies from being updated every time a reference file is saved. As you're working, you may want to go back to a previous version of a file. You can do this by promoting a version. Open the data panel and click on the three dots to the right of the version you want to promote and click open. Verify this is the version you want to promote. And if so, go to the file menu and click save as latest. A new version of this file will be created. If you need to rename a file inside of Fusion 360, open the data panel, then right click on the file you want to rename, and then from the menu, click Rename. Assemblies that reference this file will automatically be updated to reflect the new name. There's nothing you need to do. Now, inside of Fusion 360, let's get started by looking at file history and dependencies. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show the data panel. To get more information about a specific file, move your cursor down over that file and click on that file's latest version number. Under the history area, you can see when the file was saved and who saved that file. Remember, every time that you save a file, a version is created. Under uses, you'll see files that are referenced into this assembly. Under used in, you'll see assemblies that reference this file into it. And under drawings, you'll see drawings that are based on this file. To minimize this area, click on the file's version number. The next topic I want to discuss is design reservations. I'm going to start off by opening up this file by double clicking on it. Notice after the file is open, my initial appeared. This will let everyone know that's working on this project that I have this file open. I'm also going to open up the bracket moaning plate file. And again, notice that my initial appeared below the file name. What I want to do next is change the appearance of this file. To do this, I'm going to press the letter A on the keyboard. I'll change the appearance by clicking and dragging on the green paint onto my component and then close the dialog box. After making this change, notice a white dot appeared in the data panel. This will let everybody know that I now have the file reserved. And that white dot also appears in the browser. And also notice that I'm in a pending save state. In Fusion 360, multiple people can have the file open, but only the person that has that file reserved can make edits to that file. What I want to do next is save the file. So I'm going to come up here and click on the Save icon. Since this file was previously saved, I can enter in a version description. I suggest adding a description that states exactly what was changed in this version. I'm going to change this description to Changed Appearance. Also notice that I have the option here to set a milestone. When a file is saved as a milestone and this file is inserted into another assembly, and when this file changes, only versions that are set to milestone will update into these assemblies. I'll save this file by clicking on OK. Notice after saving the file, the white dot disappears. At this point, others can go ahead and edit the file as well. Next, I'm going to make the bracket assembly file active. 
Notice the yellow triangles. These triangles tell you that the file is out of date. To get the latest version, simply right-click on that file, and from the menu, click Get Latest Version. With Fusion 360, you can also see what a previous version would look like in the assembly. To do so, simply right-click on the file, and from the menu, click on Choose Version. In the dialog box, select the version that you want to look at, and click OK. Because this is no longer the latest version, the yellow triangles will reappear. If you want to use a previous version, you'll need to promote that version. To do so, go in the data panel and expand the versions of that file. To see all versions of that file, click on Show All Versions. Next, what you're going to do is open the file and verify that it is the correct version. To do so, click on the three dots next to the version, and from the menu, click Open. If this is the correct version that you want to promote, click on the File drop-down menu, and then click on Save As Latest. A warning dialog box will appear letting you know if you go ahead and continue that you will create a new version of this file. Here, I'm going to go ahead and click Continue. If desired, you can change the description. And when you're done, go ahead and click OK. Notice in the top of the browser, this file is now set to version 8. And also notice in the data panel, version 8 has been created. Now I'll minimize the versions and make my bracket assembly active. To get the latest version of the bracket mounting plate, you can also click on the yellow triangle right here in the application bar. If you need to rename a file inside of Fusion 360, you don't need to worry about file dependencies. Since the files are in the cloud, they have a unique identifier. All you need to do is rename the file. To rename a file, move your cursor over the desired file in the data panel and right click. And from the menu, click Rename. And then change the name and then press Enter on the keyboard. Notice in the browser in the assembly that the file name was automatically updated. And this completes this video on managing data inside of Fusion 360. Thanks for watching.